Okay, this is going to be how to add iSCSI storage to your um, VMware ESXi client. So using the vSphere client here, we're going to log in um, and accept the security notice, which is uh, always going to be there unless you add a certificate, um, and press OK to the evaluation notice. Um, you need to select your server on the left if you have more than one, and then go to the configuration tab on the top here, four from the right. So once you're on the configuration tab, you're looking for storage adapters on the left here. Um, we're not going to create a data store yet because we need the iSCSI connection first. So right click and press add software iSCSI adapter and I'm going to press yes to that one as well. And you can see the progress at the bottom here. Um, so you can see it says change software inter at the bottom left um, and the status is currently in progress. Um, it's only going to take um, 20 seconds or so. Um, sometimes if you rescan or refresh it will actually bump it along. I'm just going to press rescan. Uh, it's already come up anyway, so there we go. So under iSCSI software adapter, we're going to right click and go to properties. And the first thing we're going to need to do on the general tab here is the bottom right and press configure. So under the iSCSI name, we need to type in your target. Um, so wherever you've created your storage, you're going to need that target there. I have mine here from my QNAP, which I'm using for testing purposes. So I'm going to pop that in there and then just give it an alias so we know um, what it's about. Um, so my first iSCSI connection. And then we're going to need to go over to the dynamic discovery. Um, so wherever your target is, we now need to add its IP address in um, and leave the port if it's using the standard one. And we're not using any authentication for this one, but you could add it in there if you need to do so. So once you've done this, just close here and rescan the adapter. Just press yes to that one. And we should be able to see the storage on the bottom here. And you can see capacity 1 gig um, on the iSCSI device. Um, from here, you can go and add a data store from it from clicking on storage on the left here, which is pretty simple. And you can look at in a 